retake. That's a huge fish. Everybody, welcome back to the Couch Couple Gaming Plays. Uh, Shadow of the Colossus. Um, <laughs> we actually started recording this earlier, but uh, Phil kind of had like a freak out moment, so I'm actually doing the boss fight this time. So. Had a meltdown. Had a little meltdown. It's fine though. I, I can. I got this. Alrighty. Who dares encroach upon my lands? I dare! You fucking rock man thing! You! I'm glad we took that time. They used some bad language in there too. Yeah. Yeah, it's for the best, you know? Yeah. Live for a reason. Yep. Mal is just firing more lightning bolts or whatever, like he's trying to cause a damn cave-in. Anyway, so, yep, this is the final boss, and, uh, and obviously he's a little pissy because we killed all of his buds. Get up, get all of his buddies. This is it. You know, it's a good thing that this isn't like Breath of the Wild with the rain. Yeah. Because it's like... I remember Breath of the Wild's biggest pet peeve was the fucking rain. Yeah, you could have slip if you fell. You slip if you climbed it was raining. Yeah, and as you mentioned earlier, it's always raining in Seattle. But like Seattle, their climate is Breath of the Wild. Mm-hmm. Except for the desert. Yeah, there's like no, whoops, there's like no rain in the desert, but that's what makes it a desert. Yep, yep. Hop, hop, do the bunny hop. Eh. Shit. You got me that time. At least you can't reach me in this fucking trench. in the previous recording too like in the first recording because like the fucker kept like getting us in the same spot hey settle down don't you you need a Snickers But it's like, but it says water ragdolling. <laughs> yeah, water tripping over nothing. I just had to camp here for a minute. Do a barrel roll. Do a barrel roll. You become more like your father. Hmm? Peppy. Oh, yeah, Peppy the. That's rabbit. right, Peppy's the rabbit, Slippy's the frog, Falco is obviously the bird. You know, one thing I had noticed with uh, Rivali and Falco, they had a very similar design. Maybe they're brothers. Not likely. They're in two separate universes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fire your fucking fireball. Fireball to death or whatever. Okay, yeah. This one's like more timing sensitive. Alright, got it that time. Oh, Wanda, go down. No 
reason to suffer more head trauma. Bosses might be frustrating, but my god, is this music beautiful. with this stupid camera angle earlier. It's the hand was going from hand to the other hand. That's where it was pretty cool. I don't get it. Mm. I got legitimately pissed off. Yeah, part of the reason we, uh, part of the reason we cut that the previous recording was because he actually kind of went through, started throwing things, so. What the fuck just happened? I still feel it. I'm better. Yeah, we uh, it took like a 10 minute break. Anyway, so, uh, oh yeah, you said you got a PS5, right? Yeah, I got one. Retail price, $3.99 digital edition. Yeah, it's, I remember you said you had a story behind that? Yeah, my, my aunt's birthday is December 29th, and that's the day I got it, because she always gets these hot items for Christmas, the rarest mini babies on the market. Remember you mentioned the Princess Diana Beanie Baby being your Princess post. Princess Diana. The purple one. Beats there. Hard to find here, but she got it. Nice. She must have been like whispering in your ear. Check Twitter. Check Twitter. Yeah. Sure enough, Amazon. Just lucky number 13. What I saw. 13 seconds in. I got one. They're all scarfed up in two minutes. Man. Wander, stop fucking. Wander, stop falling off. Stop falling, you drunk. And part of it's just like the fucking weird ass of ledge. Alright, well, I'm on the back now, so. I remember people, again, people were saying, like, you fight the controls more than you fight the boss. This one was the camera. Yeah. Alright, Wanda, get onto his hand. Stabbing. about this guy is he never attacks you when you're on once you're actually on him. Alright. Take two. Shit. Let's try again. This is what caused me to throw my gun down. Okay, well. <laughs> Sword. 
Yeah, like, he's not really doing much to actually fight. He's just kind of shaking around a little. Accept it, Malice. You had hands. You could have fucking swatted me off your head by now, but you didn't. Alright, time to die. Sorry, Malice, but you have to die so Water can get some Gucci. <laughs> Come on, we, we know the whole reason why he's doing this is to revive a dead girl. What, what guy would go to these lengths to save a dead girl if not to get laid? <laughs> Better give him something new. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is... Good thing we got that lizard off screen. That is good. Stop. I think all the video games have some basis where somebody's gonna get played. <laughs> Mario? Yeah, Mario's only reward in 64, I think, is a kiss on the nose and a cake. Mm -hmm. fuck you, it's like, eat you fucking tease! Yeah, seriously, it's like, he's more intelligent than some of the other colossi I've seen, yet he doesn't think to use his fucking hands to swat at me. No, well, he's probably just too big. Yeah, I know. You can stop throwing me around. Malice. Put up a good fight, but this is the end. I said this is the end. Peace. You know, Malice, if you really didn't want to die that badly, you really should have just fucking swatted me when you had the chance. Instead of just staring at me like with interest, like a scientist. as far as trying to get the timing as he's he moves his head so so much. You know? Yeah. Come on, I just need to get two more stabs in at least. If you crouch down, your stamina refills faster. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, look how fast it goes. He's like, where'd he go? I can't see him. Swish, swish, swish. Thank you, you just stop already. Just annoying at this point. Like, I'm not even trying to get, like, a, a long stabbing, because I know he's just going to fucking start thrashing around if I, if I hold it for more than two seconds. Wander, come on. Like, get off my head already. You're giving me a migraine. <laughs> He done. Well, you don't have to worry about that fire ring anymore, because now you're dead. Still on fire, though. I'm not sure if that's fire. I'm not really sure what that is. Like, it's out now. Oh, we broke his man's skirt. I don't know.
know what that is exactly. I've always called it a skirt. Looks like it. It doesn't fall. Oh, doesn't matter. Ugh. I'm done. That's the ball game. Oh, but there's some more here. Cutscene time. Look at this. Who the fuck are these guys? Oh wait, I remember who these guys are. They're the uh, the shaman, the shaman people mm -hmm. from Wander's Village. A lot of people have actually theorized about this that this guy here, Amon or whatever the hell his name is, actually is actually the real start, the one who actually started the events of this game because he called for mono sac mono sacrifice. Mm -hmm. After it was revealed that she was going, that she would have a cursed fate, and a lot of people suspect that Dorman kind of planted that image in like his his vision in a vision or something, right. or some shit. I don't remember all the details, but but it's like he's I believe he's the one who sealed Dorman away initially, Lord Emon. Yeah, that's his name. There's the last statue. Look at Tiki statue a little bit. And, uh, and yeah, because, like, you know, Wander apparently had feelings for the girl that was sacrificed, which is why he went to all this trouble to kill, like, 16 fucking giants mm -hmm. and basically get invaded by the, ten by the tendrils of darkness. Just to revive this girl. She left. Not yet, but she will be. I wonder if this all happened in one day. Kinda did. I never saw a night cycle here. No. Unless the night cycles happened while Wander was unconscious, but either way. Could be. Of course, I don't see killing 16 Colossi and Wander. Are you wasted again? Very tired. Probably very relieved. This job is done. Yep. Ooh, he's floating. I didn't know you could levitate. Anyway, so... What was I saying before? Um, about the... Cycles, night cycles. Yeah, it's like unless there were night cycles occurring while Wander was just fucking passed out. Yeah. I'm pretty. I think this just takes place over the course of a single day. I guess so. And the sword just flops in. Uh, Wander, you okay? You looking a little uh? Sickly there, buddy. Oh, she's got horns now. Oh, he's got like Colossus eyes now, too. Look at that. Ooh. Those blues. Shadow folk, they're coming out of the ground. I have no idea what this language is that they're speaking. Sounds like a made up language, but I'm not sure. Yeah, made up. Yeah, there's like 16 shadows. Well, you don't see all of them here now, but yeah, you see his eyes. They're very blue like the Colossi. Mm -hmm. But it's like every time you kill the Colossi, another shadow would appear. Representing this, the colossi that you killed. Arrow to the shin, or the knee, rather. Ow. Oh, dude, even his, his blood is made of that black fog now. 
Yeah, Ammon, that fucking attitude of yours is the reason this whole game started in the first place. just for these fuckwits to get in the way. I kind of don't want to say much right now just because it's such a dramatic scene. It is. Dorman's taking over now. Remember how we said that there was actually like a 17th Colossus? Yeah. Well, you're about to see it. Yeah, you, you are one. You become one, don't you? Yeah, we'll see you in a moment. You try to kill all the bad guys. Well, I, they're, not, they're not really bad guys, they're just incredibly stupid. Mm. Yep, there we go. Got like some spider legs coming at your back. We're a fucking colossi now, bitch. What you gonna do? Now severed our body into 16 segments for an attorney in order to seal away our power. Yeah, I don't know if you noticed this or not, but Dorman, when he was, when he was speaking as like just a voice, you could hear, hear male and female parts, and now you only hear like the male voice. And some people theorize that only the male part of Dorman, like, managed to break free. Interesting. And it's and people are also have some mm. people have theorized that the Shadow Queen and Eco is the female part of Gorman. And the reason she's collecting the horned children is to re, is to try and find the male half of Dorman. Oh watch this. We can actually fucking fight as a Colossi. Of course, doesn't do us any good. <coughs> it funny if it was Colossi versus Colossi. I remember in Hyrule Warriors, you could fight as as a as a beast cannon. Oh wow. This is a higher warriors though, like the original one. Oh. What age of calamity? You might be able to and actually yeah, you can play as Calamity Ganon in, in Age of Calamity. Yeah. Yeah, you see, try as you might, you can't stop them from escaping, even though he takes like a fucking fist to the to the head. See? But nothing you do stops them. It's just a really cool thing that I wish they had implemented better into creating like a secret ending. Mm -hmm. Well, you just uh, get these guys out. <laughs> I can't. Okay, he's moving now. Controls are a little wonky. I would have loved to see. I would have loved it if you could actually kill this guy as the Colossus and get like a and get like a separate ending. Yeah. 
where you're able to succeed, successfully kill the shaman, and be able to do whatever as as this guy. But I guess this this ending has to happen. So I don't know. I've always liked games that have like multiple endings because you get to see like different different endings for like different for different styles of gameplay. You know. Yeah, that's really cool. Mm-hmm. Well, if you're gonna if you're gonna fucking throw the sword in there, just fucking do it. So yeah, uh, Amon does this, which creates like a fucking wind tunnel. There goes his mask. I wonder what Dorman looks like. Hmm? I wonder what Dorman looks like. That's what he looks like. Him? Okay. Yeah. Looks like Wander kind of regained control a little bit, and he's trying to... I can't tell if he's trying to crawl away from the thing, or if he's just trying to get back to Mono. Hmm. But yeah, if you'll notice, the music that plays when you beat a Colossi has started to play. Yeah, right there. Mm -hmm. Poor Wander. He's like he's been through all this and he doesn't even get with Mono. It's like you can try to make him go against it, but the ultimately the wind is just too strong, see? Mm -hmm. Because he's just like, he's too weak from fighting Colossi now, see? Yep. Well. Yeah, see, look, look at that. The stamina is draining super fast. Both because the suction is so powerful and because he's like super tired. He's gonna go right in there. Yeah. Sorry, Wander, but it's over, man. Might as well go into the the, the portal thing. Or good whatever ride. it is. It's been a good ride. <sighs> Poor wander. But yeah, what I was saying earlier is some people have theorized that the Shadow Queen in uh, the game Eco. Eco is actually the name of the of the horned boy the, that you play as. Mm -hmm. And it's theorized that she is looking, trying to collect the, the horned boys and sacrificing them so she can reclaim the, the lost male half of the woman. Sad, isn't it? Yeah, this game is a little sad, truth be told, you know? Mm. Between, like, the killing of the Colossi, the the resurrection of Mono, and just Wander doing all of that, and then basically getting shafted. Right. Yeah. But at least Dorman did keep his, keep his promise. May not look like it, but he did keep his promise. Yeah, he did in the end. Because look, she's awake. She's alive. She's like, where the hell am I? And an even bigger miracle is about to pop pop around the corner. For you see. She's a 
wait. Yeah, she's alive. And as I was saying, an even bigger miracle is about to hop around the corner. Oh, or, yeah. or rather, limp around the corner. Wonder who that could be. Hmm? Wonder who that could be. Well, let's see. I think I have an idea. Hmm. It's like, what is this place? That's right. Agro. Wander's trusty steed. She survived, although she's a little worse for wear right now. Oh, she made it. Sporting a busted up leg at the moment, so she kind of just limped her way here. I kind of wonder how the hell she got out of that ravine, though. I don't know. She's a smart horse. I'm sure she figured it out, but... I don't know if she lives for long after this game, because a broken leg is usually a death sentence on a horse. It is. But you know what? At least she survived her fall and made it back here, more or less, in one piece. Mm -hmm. Wow. This game has, ver has, a ver has very open interpretation, but oh yeah. One thing I never really, that always made me curious is why did the colossal bodies kind of just turn into like sand and rock? I don't know. Decomposition, I guess. Yeah, but, yeah, but organic beings don't normally turn into sand, though. Then again, these guys are like half rocks, so what do I know? PS5 controller? Oh, switch. Yeah, it's over there behind your uh, one up. Oh, okay. No, I mean the controller for the thing you play on the TV. Oh, that one. Uh, I think it's out by the entertainment center. Must be. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll, we'll get it later. Uh, but yeah, it's like. Yeah, this game has a very open interpretation. Like there's fuck you, Koromori. Oh yeah, asshole. <laughs> this game has a very open interpretation. It's very difficult to really understand what's happening exactly, especially when you see this ending, you know? Right. Cause like a lot of people were really confused by it. Fuck you, dirge. You're a pain in the ass, but I got you. Yeah. And fuck you, Celosia. And of course, the biggest fuck you of all to you, Pelagia. Hmm. Asshole. That was the only one. That was like the first one we did. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Phalanx. Your fight was awesome, and your death was graceful. The lion was fun. I like that one. Yeah, the lion was actually pretty fun to fight. Or is it a Pelhound? I don't know. It's very... He yeah. was okay. Argus, you were more tedious, but you weren't frustrating. Malice, yeah. I don't know what to, what to say about you, so bye. Still can't believe we lost to the very first boss earlier. I know. I'm going to poop her real. Yep, definitely. I didn't do as well with this game as I thought I would. I was very... I think it's because you were used to playing on easy mode and, I, and we had it set for normal mode. Probably. I had a much tougher time than I thought I would. Yeah. yeah. I think in normal mode the stamina wheel drains a little faster. Oh, screw you, dude. You're the one who set these events into motion by sacrificing Mono. Yeah, in the in the first episode, we accidentally skipped that cutscene. I think Phil just had his his, his finger on the uh, X button yep. and, and skipped it by accident. <laughs> mm -hmm. Not a big deal, though, you know? Hmm. 
I do like that they keep like some of the cutscenes going uh, even during the end credits. Mm -hmm. Poor Agra, though. I can't imagine how far she's been limping with that with that busted leg. Oh God. Oh, there's something in there. Something's there. It's a baby. Ooh. It's Wander. Baby Wander. So I remember one theory was stating that the only way to bring Wander back to to normal, I guess, was to bring him back to his purest state, which is an infant. But mm -hmm. he still has the horns showing, showing like you know the mark of of Dorman. So like I said, the sending is a little the ends the end credits are very a little bit confusing. Mm -hmm. Just because there's not a lot of context to go off of and it's really one of those things you have to really evaluate to kinda of know just what the hell's going on, you know? Right. Yeah, it's a more or less a bittersweet ending, though. It's like, while Wander did succeed in revi resurrecting Mono, he got turned into a baby. Pretty much. Jeez, Argo's tough. Just kind of keeps going, despite that busted leg. Yeah, he does. Mm-hmm. I've actually seen people kind of like glitch the game so they get into like this hidden garden that's in the temple. Because mm -hmm. like normally there's no way to get in there unless you like, you know, like like mess with the game's uh, programming. Right. Like with like mods and stuff, you know? Mm-hmm. And I wonder how Agro knew to come here. Plot well, might maybe a bit confusing, but it's still a very beautiful game. It is. Mm -hmm. Got to do it. Yep. Next is Breath of the Wild. Yeah, I'm looking forward to doing that one. We're actually gonna be, uh, we're actually gonna be doing that one like uh, both of us mm -hmm. at, at points in time, like. Like, you said you wanted to do Rivali and Daruk's Divine Beasts, yeah, right? Yeah, I'll do those two. Okay, so I'll handle Mitha and Urbosa then. Okay, I'll do the elephant and the camel, I'll do the bird and the lizard. Okay. Then I'll study up the night before we move. Yeah. Just yeah, so I know what I'm doing, so there's no mm -hmm. bullshit. Yeah. Uh, let's see. And, uh, what was I going to say? I'll be handling like the DLC, like more of the puzzle shrines. Phil said, Phil, you said you wanted to do like the uh, the fighting shrines, yeah, the right? Test and strength, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a burb. Burb. And uh, oh yeah, I'll be handling like the giant boss fights too, like the Moldugas, the Lionels. Yeah. Lionels especially, just because I've gotten more practice with fighting Lionels than Phil has. Maybe I'll do a Hinox. Yeah, Hinoxes are a bit more straightforward if you have if you know what you're doing. Right. Butterfly, big old hawk. Well, that's all she wrote for this one. Yep. So everybody, thanks for sticking around and watching us basically raging at most of these bosses. Uh, we will see you next time with our Breath of the Wild playthrough. I think Breath of the Wild, we're going to be a little more calm because I think we're a little it's slower paced. It is a bit slower paced, but we're also a bit more familiar with the controls. Yeah. Because that was kind of the biggest issue we had was like, 
getting the controls figured out because PS4 controls tend to be a bit more compli complicated. A little bit. Yeah, it was like I said, it was tougher than I anticipated it would be. But we yeah. got through it. Mm -hmm. Eventually. Yeah. Oh, that pretty moon. Anyway, we will see y'all next time. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and stick around for our next playthrough. Take care. Have a good one. Bye-bye.